An AI that builds other AIs in real time with zero coding, zero scripting, and full autonomy is no longer an idea, it's live. Emergence AI, founded by former IBM researchers, has launched a system that generates custom agents on the spot using just a text prompt. In this video, we're breaking down how this new tech works, what recursive intelligence actually means, and why it could shift how automation works across enterprise systems. Let's dive in. How this AI actually builds other AIs. At the core of Emergence AI system is the orchestrator, a logic engine that evaluates incoming tasks, determines what resources are available, and builds what's missing. It operates by first consulting an internal registry of existing agents. If the task can't be completed with what's already built, it creates new agents on the fly. These agents are generated using state-of-the-art large language models. According to VentureBeat, Emergence's platform supports models including OpenAI's GPT-4, O and GPT-4.5, Anthropic's Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and Meta's Llama 3.3. Depending on the task and configuration, the orchestrator selects the most appropriate model to generate and refine agent behavior. But this isn't just about generating code. Once an agent is built, it's capable of executing actions, verifying outcomes, and improving through repetition. A process emergence calls self-play. The orchestrator doesn't stop once the agents are generated. It continues to monitor performance and learns from task outcomes. What separates this system from other agent frameworks is its complete lack of required manual intervention. No pipelines need to be set up. No agent libraries need to be dragged in. You just describe the goal. The rest is handled by the system itself, using recursive loops to continuously reassess and adapt. In practice, this means the AI is not only building tools, it's deciding what tools need to exist in the first place. Orchestrator architecture and recursive thinking. The intelligence behind this system comes from its architecture. The orchestrator acts like a manager that's constantly asking two questions. Can I solve this with what I already have? And if not, what do I need to build? When it encounters a task it can't solve, it generates a new goal, the creation of an agent that can. This ability to reflect, plan, and create sub-goals autonomously is what Emergence defines as recursive thinking. Agents aren't created randomly. They're task-specific, assigned with memory, and given the ability to plan and verify their own output. Once created, they're stored in the internal registry so they can be reused for future tasks. During the demo, the company displayed a timeline of agent creation in real time. Each dot represented an agent, color-coded by function, from categorization to data extraction to reporting. As tasks progressed, the orchestrator became more efficient, creating fewer agents and relying more on existing ones. This addresses one of the common problems in multi-agent systems, bloat. If a platform creates too many agents for every new task, it becomes inefficient. But Emergence AI's orchestrator was designed to consolidate and generalize, making the system leaner over time. Instead of endlessly building, it learns what's reusable, optimizing for long-term performance, which is crucial for enterprise-scale deployments, real use cases that matter for the enterprise. In 2025, much of the AI agent conversation has revolved around consumer-facing tools and chatbot applications. Emergence AI, however, is focusing on enterprise workflows, specifically those that are data-intensive, repetitive, and prone to manual bottlenecks. The platform is currently being tested across several enterprise tasks, including automating ETL pipeline creation, managing cloud-based data migrations, transforming and normalizing large data sets, and building dashboards from unstructured spreadsheets. It's also being used for large-scale text summarization and classification, tasks that typically require custom scripts and engineering oversight. These workflows often involve repetitive back-end logic that slows down teams. Emergence AI's orchestrator is designed to eliminate that friction by generating and managing task-specific agents automatically without writing code or configuring pipelines manually. At the AI Engineer World's Fair in 2024, CEO Satya Nita emphasized that while large language models can now generate code efficiently, they lack the ability to execute or verify it. 
Emergence AI's system fills that gap by pairing code generation with autonomous agent execution and embedded oversight. Rather than outputting a script that still needs developer involvement, the platform produces a working solution that runs end-to-end -end with checkpoints for human validation where needed. This shift is part of a broader trend. A Gartner report from the first quarter of 2025 estimates that over 70% of enterprises will implement some form of AI agent framework by year's end, up from just 12% in 2023. The demand is driven by the need for tools that can adapt quickly to changing business requirements without constant reconfiguration. Emergence AI's system doesn't just solve the task at hand, it improves across tasks, learns from outcomes, and becomes more efficient over time, removing the need for constant engineering input. What makes this platform different from anything else? Emergence AI's system stands apart from most existing agent frameworks by focusing on creation, not just orchestration. While platforms like Langchain, Microsoft's Autogen, and Crew AI focus on linking pre-built agents to execute tasks in sequence, Emergence AI's orchestrator builds those agents dynamically from scratch. The difference is summarized well by CEO Sachinita's phrasing, they orchestrate, Emergence creates. The platform operates through a completely no-code interface. Users interact with it through natural language, and the orchestrator handles everything from agent design to execution. There's no need to manually select agents or define workflows. The system makes those decisions autonomously. A key differentiator is how it handles complexity over time. Instead of endlessly generating new agents for every task, the orchestrator learns to generalize. It identifies patterns across tasks and begins to reuse existing agents more efficiently. This addresses the issue of agent sprawl, where systems become bloated with too many narrowly focused tools. As more tasks are completed, the system builds a smarter internal registry. This allows it to solve future problems using fewer, more versatile agents, reducing duplication, optimizing resource use, and improving long-term performance without additional human input. The guardrails. Despite its autonomous capabilities, Emergence AI's platform is built with multiple layers of safety and human oversight. These mechanisms are designed to ensure that enterprises maintain full control over their workflows and that the system operates within clearly defined boundaries. The platform includes access control layers to restrict agent creation and task execution to authorized users. Each agent is evaluated using verification rubrics that assess performance, accuracy, and adherence to task objectives. If an agent doesn't meet predefined criteria, it can be flagged or removed before it impacts production workflows. Another key safeguard is human-in-the-loop validation. While the orchestrator can act independently, it pauses at critical checkpoints to allow for human review. This ensures that newly created agents are operating as expected and aligned with business goals before being deployed at scale. NIDA has emphasized that human oversight remains central to the platform's philosophy. In his words, you need to verify that the multi-agent system or the new agent spawned are doing the task you want and went in the right direction. Automation is the goal, but always within a framework of human-defined intent and accountability. Interoperability and what's coming next. Emergence AI system is built for flexibility with compatibility across multiple models and frameworks. It supports OpenAI's GPT 4.0 and GPT 4.5, Anthropic's Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and Meta's Llama 3.3, allowing enterprises to choose the model best suited to their task requirements. This also means organizations can bring their own foundation models into the ecosystem. It also integrates with major agent frameworks such as Langchain, Crew AI, and Microsoft Autogen. This makes it easier for enterprises to embed the orchestrator into existing AI infrastructure without needing to replace what they have already built. Looking ahead, the company has announced a major platform update scheduled for May 2025. This update will include containerized deployment, allowing the orchestrator to run in any cloud environment. It will also expand the system's self-play capabilities, enabling agents to simulate task variations and improve more rapidly without external input. Emergence AI's team includes researchers and engineers with experience at IBM Research, Google Brain, the Allen Institute for AI, Amazon, and Meta.
The company states that it's still early in development, but the system is already being tested in multiple enterprise settings across the US, Europe, and Asia. Why this changes everything long-term. The emergence of self-building, an AI system signals a shift in how tasks are handled in both enterprise and technical environments. While large language models continue to improve at generating language and code, they still rely on human direction. They can suggest solutions, but they don't act. Agentic systems close that gap. By combining LLM output with autonomous agent execution, platforms like Emergence AI's Orchestrator offer a path toward real autonomy. Instead of coding tools, we now prompt systems to build them, reducing the time and expertise required to translate intent into action. The long-term implications are significant. As tasks become more dynamic and interconnected, static workflows will struggle to keep up. Recursive systems that build and evolve their own solutions could become the default infrastructure behind enterprise operations. As this space evolves, the question becomes less about what AI can do and more about what you would trust it to handle. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.